Hello there, it's Dawn Gracie of Dawn's Vintage Do. Today I'm going to show you how I do my signature vintage look. Um, it's been a few years since I did a last video, uh, so I hope this is a bit of an update. I look very different, my hair is very different, so um, I hope you enjoy it. So, first things first is that you need to have unclean hair. Uh, now, I've recently had my hair cut and coloured, um, but since my last video, my hair has become a lot more grey because I think the last video was about four years ago. And as you can see, I've got some uh, natural highlights. And uh, <laughs> so I do continue having highlights on there. But uh, the easiest way to get a good vintage look is to have either damaged hair, unclean hair. P.S. I'm not a hairdresser, so don't take my advice. Uh, so you want to have all the ingredients at hand to achieve the vintage look. So first things first is you want to have some dry shampoo. There are various brands on the market. Um, I have always used this, but I've recently been trying this, and I'll tell you why shortly. Um, a hairspray. There's this that I've always used, and I recently found this. I'll tell you why shortly. <laughs> and another ingredient is hair oil. Again, any brand you like. And of course, some pins, bobby pins, I think you call them, and uh, a good comb. I'm not gonna show you my comb because it's so covered in dry shampoo, it's quite horrible. So <laughs> let's get started. And of course, some hair and some hair accessories, but we'll do that very shortly. So the first thing you want to do is to obviously not have freshly clean hair because otherwise it's too soft. People ask me all the time, oh, my hair's too fine, my hair's too long. Um, the, the, the best advice is to have unclean hair, whichever condition your hair is in, because it gives you uh, the ability to build up the hairstyle and to get some texture in there. Okay, again, P.S. I'm not a hairdresser. <laughs> so first things first is you want to section your hair. Now, uh, you'll have seen that my signature hairstyle uses only two rolls and one concealed situation. So I first of all section my hair. I've got a bit of a parting over there, it doesn't really matter. There's no particular parting, but I just take a section of hair here. And someone asked me recently, does backcombing your hair damage it? Yes. <laughs> so what you want to do is to take a section of hair. As I've been doing this for so many years, as you'll have seen from previous videos, my hair looked in much better condition back then. Um, years of doing this, my hair has a thin little, although I am told that with age, with age, it can actually uh, thin out anyway in a seven year cycle. That's what I've been told. So the first thing that I do is, so I've taken my section and take your dry shampoo and just add some to it. Apparently that's quite a lot, but it works for me. The next thing I do is add a little bit of hairspray. And that has already given it some texture for you to work on. And what I do is from the behind, I actually gently back comb all the way up. Most importantly, giving it a double whammy at the roots. Okay, all the way up. My poor hair is screaming. Look at that beautiful texture. I look like some sort of troll. <laughs> okay, so then you've got your section of hair. I then take a squeeze. This is actually got to be Tame and Shine Styling Oil. But again, I've used lots of different brands. Get some in your hand, and then you're basically coating the section of hair with the oil so that when you roll it over, it doesn't look like one big back comb dry mess. So we've got our section, and then I take my three fingers, like this, bearing in mind these are not victory rolls, this is what I call a forward rockabilly roll. Round, and then I continue to wind it under, and I hold with my finger, take a pin, and then slide it in. Hold there, and then from the other side, slide it in. Some people go to great lengths to hide and conceal their hair grips. Personally, I just don't. I actually just buy hair, 
hair clips that match my hair colour. Saves a lot of faffing around. So you've got the structure of a roll, okay? Give it a bit of hairspray. Now I like hairspray that you can actually comb out um, because it doesn't leave it super sticky and allows you to use it for a couple of days. I have found that some hairsprays, well, it's, it's called glued, this one, so the clues in the name is extremely sticky. So I prefer to use one that is um, a bit finer in the mist and therefore doesn't stick. There you go. So you're literally sculpting sculpting your hair like so. Okay, so we're almost there. Uh, this section is going to be in the same direction. Now, when I said about victory rolls earlier, victory rolls is more of a 40s look, which, which means both sides are curling in. And um, that is representative of a 1940s look. I'm personally not a 1940s performer. I do 50s and 60s, so I prefer a reverse rockabilly roll. However, this side technically is. So I take a section of my hair, like so. You can see I'm sort of take some from the back, quite far back there. And again, give it a spray. Now the difference is in dry shampoos. I've always used the Batiste dry shampoos, but they do leave, it does leave quite a white residue Whereas this got to be, um, doesn't, basically. And then a bit of hairspray. Now this section of hair is super soft because um, I've just recently had my hair cut and you put some lovely oil on it so it's a bit soft. So this is the worst scenario because you've got dry, clean hair. Okay, work it from the back. And these sorts of combs are the best fine tooth comb. Look at that. Already, let's see if it stands up. <laughs> okay. Work it, girlfriend. Okay. Uh, pick it up. A little squirt of oil in your hand, like so. Just give it a, a coating. You can see the bits of hair that are either growing back or that have broken off. So, yeah, this isn't the best thing for your hair, but needs must, etc. And then I simply roll it around like so. I'm glad that worked first time. <laughs> okay, the hardest thing is getting a, a, a pin after you put the oil on your hands. Okay, and then I pin it from the back. Feed out my hand, it leaves it as a roll, but just for extra security, one puts one in front. Now, if you do want to conceal the grip so that people can't actually see them, you just start to put the grip in further back. But again, I'm not really uh, a Puritan when it comes to hiding that, but I know lots of people are. So, spray. The reason I smooth it over once I've actually sprayed it on is to stop the little globules and balls of hairspray sitting there. So I just sort of smooth it around. Of course, if you've got oil on your hand already, then it won't stick to the hairspray either. So that technically is a victory roll. If that was going in that way as well, that would also be a victory roll. So what about this part? Now, this, this side is the side that I put my hair accessory on. So therefore, I don't really bother doing a roll what I do is I take a little section of the hair here as you can see I actually have far less hair on this side <laughs> Jeez, I'm doing it. and then I literally wind it around my finger and poke it onto my head get a grip get a grip and then feed it into there and then that is what I call my landing pad for my hair accessory and but before I do that I just take my comb now because my hair is shoulder length it makes it much much easier to just do a little flick up I could get a, a barrel brush and just do that flick up but my hair does naturally do the flick up so just smooth it down with your oily hand like 
so. And then take hair accessory. Now hair accessories, this is one from Guns and Posies. I'll put a link below, but it's really handy. Years of got having these accessories. I prefer them with the clips that go up like that. Now Guns and Posies are great because these, these slides can tend to slice your head. So they've got a little blob of glue on the end. So what you do is you take your clip and you slide it through your hair like so and position it. And hey presto, the vintage hair. In my next video, I'm going to do makeup and show you how I do my signature look of makeup. In the meantime, thank you very much. Any questions, do pop them below or head over to my website, dawnsvintagedo.com and all the links will be below for all my social media sites. Thank you very much.